Hey everyone, so uh, this evening I'm going to show you how to uh, rebuild and rewick the Griffin RTA by Geekfape. So um, without further ado, Bone and parts. Um, you have the barrel section, the mouthpiece and top cap, the chimney, the top part of the chimney and the glass Pyrex tank. And then the deck section with the velocity style uh, tubes. Uh, tubes, posts, and the grub screws which go into the side of those. Nice close up view of that, and then that's where your airflow control ring is. There, what I'm going to do is put it on the uh, relo for the build. So let's just pop it on there now. Nice, easy to work with build deck. I like I've been using this tool actually recently it's quite useful and it seems to be have the right size Allen screws Allen heads for all of my atomizers so it's got two different size types sizes and um, this is the one that came with the, um, the support so a good little tool actually I, I will get a proper sort of screwdriver style one, but um, there you go. For the meantime, anyway. Oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I like to first start off by just opening up all the post holes so that we can get our build in there. What I'm going to use is a piece of clapped wire. Bear with me. Let me just grab a piece. So I'm going to use two strands of twisted 26 gauge canthal for this build. I've just twisted this up, so um, might need a little bit of trimming to make it fit properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this around a what is it? I think is a two point yeah two millimeter um, screwdriver. So I'm going to do a, I think I'll do a six wrap, maybe seven. Let's see how it looks. One, two, three, four, five, six wrap. Yeah, why not? That works for me. So that's six wraps on there. an equal six in here one two three four five six there we go straighten that off nicely okay cool right now we are ready to mount and that is the beauty of this particular tank it is so easy to mount your coils so all you need to do is pinch that in there so that it fits nicely so it's just over the airflow hole at the bottom take your allen key making sure that you've got it nice and firmly in there there we go feels nice let's just pop that in there quickly just to make sure that we're anchored properly it's a bit more of a pain on this side because obviously you have to take it out no worries there we go getting there nicely perfect Yeah, there we go, nicely mounted coils. How's our focus looking? There we go. Let's just trim these before they get in the way. There we go. So, not too 
high, just in the center of the uh, center of the posts. And then we just repeat the process for this side. Again, really easy, putting the bottom lead that's coming out of the bottom way through that side. Hold that in nice and tightly for so that you can screw it up. Easy as that. Switch around, making sure that you're still making that nice connection with your leads. It's all together nice and smoothly. Sorry, we'll try and speed this up a little bit. I thought I'd do this video just purely because I need to rebuild the Griffin anyway so it made sense to show what we're doing oh there we go we're okay we're okay don't panic anyone <clears throat> chop them off you absolutely need a good pair of uh, snips for this and where are my ceramic tweezers so resting 0.27 we've got on there so that's about where we're shooting for it will probably change a little bit with a bit of heat applied but let's give it a quick pulse it's yeah, still nice and centered perfect there we go get some hot legs on there but we can work those kinks out Quick pulse, there we go, we're getting there. Let's uh, turn the lamp off for a second and you can see whereabouts we actually are. See how hot they still are. There we go, we're glowing nicely there. Oh, there we go. Glowing nicely inside out. Just a quick wiggle and they should be flush with the outside so that you're able to fit your chimney section on top of there nice and easily if they're not all if they're not you're gonna have problems did I look up that core no I didn't it's all right it's just gone a bit janky Yeah, everyone makes mistakes for building. Beauty is you can always fix it. There we go, we're getting there. And when you're comfortable with it, then we can let it sit for a second and then we will wick it. So let's get a bit of our organic cotton. It's more of a, an art to wick in these now that they're on a smaller build deck than on an RDA. I think you need probably less cotton for this. So take a strand of cotton. I tend to like to peel a bit off so you get nice fluffy cotton and then poke that in through. That might be a little bit a little bit too much too little actually. There we go, let's there we go, perfect. Brilliant. Now for the other side. Again, just the same, just get what you're comfortable with, what you want. Squeeze that through, just so that you can, you've got a little bit of resistance there. Okay, a little bit of resistance. 
And then what we want to do is we want to trim our wicks quite a lot actually. So I like to start off by trimming the excess off and then working back down if we need to. Taking more off is much easier to work out how much you need first. So that's a bit too much. So we can trim a bit more off there. And a bit more off that, and a bit more off that, and a bit more off there. I'm left handed, so scissors are always a pain. Um, and then what we just do is we pop them so that they are not in the juice flow channels, just resting above them. There we go, beautiful. Just poke it down. That's probably the best one, actually. That was a bit dodge. There we go. So that is how you coil it and wick it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our barrel section and hope that it fits. And it does. There we go pop that barrel section on. It's actually caught a bit of it through there. Let's just make sure that that's all nice. Yeah, yeah perfect. I think we're going to be all right with that. Then what we want to do is we want to just wet our coils a touch. Well, let's not use a Max VG, shall we? Let's use. No, do you know what? Let's let's pop some Charlie's chalk dust in there. That'll do. So we just moisten that all off down there. Still reading. Cool. Lovely. And then what we want to do is we take our tank section, screw that on, nice and firm. Turn it so that the airflow, sorry, the juice flow control holes are closed, like so. Then we can fill it up. the top those nice big kidney shaped juice flow holes juice flow holes juice fill holes doesn't hold masses but it holds enough nearly there just a little bit more there we go so this is quite a thick juice to be using in this tank but we will see how it goes. Pop the top on. That will change the pressure slightly in the tank. So now when you open, you'll get all your juice flowing out beautifully. That's what we want to see. Let's um, get up to FaceTime, shall we? So that was the uh, quick build on the Griffin. Um, well, not that quick, but it just goes to show, to show how quickly it can be built on. It's not a hard tank to build on at all. It's really quite pleasant, quite easy to use. Um, I've let this sit now for a couple of moments, but you can still see yeah, that it's still wicking nicely. So let's give it a few priming puffs. Close off the juice flow the airflow sorry so that it wicks up nicely don't want any burn hits there on our nice twisted 26 gauge that should go nicely let's have a try no 
there she blows. Lovely. Good vape there. <clears throat> Simple as that. Hope that was useful. Thanks very much. Cheers.